All right, so mine didn't come with the instructions, but um, pretty much these are what we're working with. And then we got little tools, so I'm gonna figure it out right now, and I'll show you guys, I guess, how to do it. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> it did come with instructions. So you're gonna wanna find the G's, which are these long ones, and then the F and connect those. So this is G and that, Here's the long one. It's one of those, it's F. And then we're gonna connect those, um, I believe they're H2s, and we're gonna use that to screw those in, and we're gonna show you how it looks like right now. Okay, so for this next step, we had to bring it into the toilet, cause we need to position it where we want, and then this goes in the back, and we can't do that without it having it put in position. And then we put these legs, I know it's really dirty back there, I need to clean it. But um, we put those legs in uh, extension so it could be a little bit lifted. So we're gonna go ahead, it's basically the F as well, like this one, and then we're gonna use the same ones to do that. So yeah. Okay, so for this step, um, it's very important if you want the shelf in the middle, to have these little holes on the B's to face up and then this one to face down because that's where the cabinet's gonna be. And then this is the A one that goes on top and we just screwed it down. So it looks like this, kind of like three little tiers right now. And then we're gonna go ahead with the next step right now. Okay, so we messed up so we had to switch it. Make sure that the bottom one that you're doing of the A's is the holes are face up because I think this is gonna connect to the one in the bathroom right now. And then this is obviously gonna be the top. I, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then we're gonna grab this one, which is E, this whole back then, and we're gonna connect it at the back end with the H3s, and that's gonna require 20 of them. And we're gonna just do that with a hammer, I guess. So I'll see, I'll show you when that's done. The upside. So this is how it looks like, and then it, it tells you what side goes up. So this is the up part, and this is the bottom part that we're doing. It'll connect to the base. Yeah, it'll connect the to the base, where the toilet's at. And then these have to go, um, the holes up, so yeah. All right, so we nailed in the back piece. So you make, you gotta make sure that everything in the back looks like this, and everything in the front, it looks white. So the next step should be up right now. So you're gonna wanna do the H4 nails here, and this is the bottom part that's gonna connect there. And then you're gonna do the H5, which are these, just to secure that. And I'll show you how that looks like. All right, so that's how she looks like right now. And then the little plastic ones that I told you are these, just to secure the part going in. That looks, I don't think you can see it, but those are the white ones. All right, so this cabinet part gets somewhat tricky, but you guys just gotta like follow the instructions. So the unfinished edge is right here, right? And then in that little corner right there, you're gonna wanna do the H, what is it, eight? Those little screws, and then the H7. Connect it right there with that little pokey thing on the outside and my camera is exhausted okay so I went ahead and did the I think it's 9 and 10 H9 and 10 you just literally screw them in on the top middle one because my cabinets gonna be in the middle and then these are the H6s you put one on each of the where the cabinets gonna go so you only screw one of these on first which is the top one and that goes across the top and then this middle one is gonna be your knob. And I believe this is H, let's see. The knobs were H11 and 12. Those are really easy to connect. It just comes in their own little bag. And then the reason why you don't put the bottom one first because you're gonna wanna um, put this cabinet in, hook it up on top. Uh, or let me show you, you wanna do it again? So it's really easier to take off like that. So he hooks in this part first on yeah, top. Yeah, you put those black yeah. plugs in. Right. And then you hook that on top. 
stick that in. And then you stick that bottom one in because it would be a pain if you connected it first. And then you squeeze it in there. And then that's when you screw it in. There you go. And then just like that. Right there. And then once you screw those in, that cabinet should be good. Like that. All right, and there you have it. There's your space saver for the toilet. These cabinets open up nice and fine right here. And then the very last touches are these little cute things so they won't look, the holes won't look ugly that are revealed. And then I put some back here as well on the side. And yeah, your very own backseat toilet uh, space saver. All right, so there I just kind of dressed it up just a little bit, just so you guys can get a feel of the stuff that you can fit. Um, in here I just put my um, toilet paper. I'm gonna fill it up with more toilet paper and stuff, and my baby wipes and stuff that I use on a daily, but yeah.